Hello, today we are going to continue our discussion about the points on the liver channel with the He Si point on the liver channel Chu Chuan. So the point's name Chu Chuan refers to the anatomical and also energetic belonging of this point. Um, so Chu is, uh, is the band, it's the anatomical reference. Uh, because the point is located uh, at the bend of the knee and Chuan uh, is a spring so that refers to the water phase because all Ho Si points on the yin channels belong to the water phase. In terms of the hexagram analysis liver 8 represents the 23rd hexagram Bo, the character's name implies uh, stripping away, peeling, flailing the inner trigram of this hexagram belongs to Kun, Yin, Earth, and the hexagram's outer or upper trigram is Gun, and that belongs to Yang, Earth. It's a complete Earth hexagram. The traditional interpretation of this hexagram is peeling away or stripping away. Oftentimes in our life we have circumstances that we have outgrown and it's time to let to let them go and that's what this hexagram implies the best way to understand this hexagram is by analyzing the concept of the primary hexagrams bi gua these are 12 hexagrams that represent the solar cycle and so they reflect seasonal changes uh, that we experience in the northern hemisphere. So our hexagram Bo, it belongs to the metal trinity. It's the last trigram in the metal trinity. And the metal in Chinese uh, cosmology represents fall. The following hexagram is number two, Kun, which has double yin earth. In other words, the sixth line of the Bo hexagram is going to change from yang into yin. Hence the name of the uh, hexagram peeling away. We are changing the season, we are changing, we are peeling away yang energy from very little yang to complete yin, the beginning of the water season. Understanding dynamics of this hexagram helps us to understand the functions of the uh, point liver 8 because liver 8 point reflects the energetics of this hexagram. So we use it clinically primarily to take away the excess. In particular, liver 8 is an excellent point to drain damp heat from the lower burner. However, this point also drains liver fire. So all He Si points of the yin channels belong to the water phase and therefore they all deal with water. In particular, kidney 10 is a, is a very good point to treat damp heat in the urogenital ur region. It treats frequent or painful urination. Spleen 9 has a water and earth correspondence and therefore it has a very wide range of action in terms of dampness. It drains dampness from the flesh, from the joints and also from the urogenital region. However, liver 8 is particularly drains damp heat from the genitals and the lower burner. It treats such problems as swelling of the testicles, painful urination and strangury. So uh, when we speak about damp heat, it's the domain of the San Jiao. And we say that depending on the ratio of heat to dampness, damp heat is going to manifest either in the upper jiao or in the lower jiao or in the middle jiao. And we say that when heat is greater than dampness, then it's going, to, because of the rising nature of heat, it's going to manifest in the upper burner. And if dampness is greater than the heat, then uh, uh, dampness is going to sink down damp heat into the lower burner, into the genital region. And in terms of the Zhang Fu correspondence, we know that spleen is responsible for building up, for accumulating dampness, and liver manages qi. And so that's the psycho-emotional or psychosomatic, if you will, component of this problem. So, you know, we have uh, emotional problems either with spleen 
or with liver, we oftentimes end up with damp heat affecting the San Jiao and consequently uh, if dampness is greater than the heat, it can enter the liver channel and uh, create genital urinary problems. Another concept that is uh, worth mentioning here is that oftentimes damp heat can arise as a response when we have heat as a pathogenic factor, then the body starts generating dampness to control this heat. Or if the dampness is prevalent, it can create circumstances of stagnation and the body is going to respond by generating heat because qi cannot move and it generates heat as a response to dampness. And of course also to some, some extent it's an attempt of the body to actually to dry dampness. In addition to qi stagnation, another possible pathogenic development of damp heat is a stagnation of blood in the genital region. And liver 8 is one of the points that also moves blood. And so one of the manifestations of blood stagnation in the lower burner that liver 8 treats is shun disorders. Shun is a pathogenic bulging. The character shun uh, is comprised of the radical chuan disease and shun uh, the mount, hence pathogenic bulging. And in acupuncture, we distinguish three different types of um, pathogenic bulging or shun disorders. Number one, it's hernia. We also consider accumulation of feces or urine that causes painful bulging as a shun disorder. And so for men with chronic prostatitis who cannot completely avoid and they have chronically a full bladder, that's also considered a shunt disorder and so liver 8 would be the point to treat this condition. And finally, shunt disorders implicate swelling and pain in the testicles. So whenever we have a painful swelling of the testicles are considered shunt disorder. And for the pain in the umbilical region, we can combine liver 8 with liver 4, which is a metal point that implicates a movement of qi because metal is the phase that corresponds with the lungs, and Zhen 9, a point one sun above the umbilicus, and that's the point that we always mark for water accumulation. We can also needle this point. And for the painful abdomen due to shunt disorder, we can use liver 8, kidney 6, and uh, spleen 6. Another combination for the shunt disorder, in particular for the inguinal hernia and the pain in the penis, we can combine liver 8 with liver 3, gen 4, gen 3, and spleen 6 again. And uh, one of the trademarks of damp heat in the lower burner, in particular damp heat in the liver channel, is itchiness of the genitals and uh, for the richness of the scrotum and uh, the external genitalia, we can combine liver 8 with Gen 7. Another interesting condition that liver 8 treats, just like many other liver, uh, liver channel points, is seminal emission. Now, when we spoke about liver 5, we spoke about the concept of Jing Guan, the essence gate. There is no clear anatomical location that is ascribed to this concept in Chinese medicine. However, in my opinion, they're probably talking about the pelvic diaphragm. And so, when damp heat attacks uh, Jing Guan, the essence gate, there is a possibility of premature ejaculation. And one of the combinations uh, to firm up the Jing Guan, the essence gate, is liver 8, Gen 3, and bladder 67, the metal point on the water channel. However, liver 8 can also treat a deficiency type of seminal emission, not only excess due to damp heat. And the combination for seminal emission due to exhaustion of the gate of vitality, we use MOXA on liver 8 and we combine liver 8 with such points as liver 4, liver 3, uh, bladder 67 again, and then we use back shoe points 
bladder 17 that's the uh, point for the diaphragm then bladder 20 bladder 22 that's the back shoe point for the San Jiao uh, bladder 23 the back shoe point of the kidney so we want to form up the kidney yang right and then we use spleen 6 overall great point to uh, strengthen the kidneys and Zhen 6 uh, the sea of qi point Another important function of liver 8 is that it, it treats impotence due to damp heat. However, we can also use a liver 8 to treat painful or difficult urination due to damp heat obstructing the lower burner. And for the pain in the penis and difficult urination, we combine liver 8 with uh, liver 2, the fire point. We already mentioned that liver 8 treats damp heat in the genital re region in the urinary system uh, it can also treat damp heat entering the intestines and for the diarrhea we combine liver 8 with liver 3 so for painful and difficult urination we apply liver 8 and liver 2 and for the intestinal problems we combine liver 8 with liver 3 we have already mentioned that liver 8 is a point of choice to treat blood stagnation. And we also know that liver channel connects with the conception vessel at Gen 2, Gen 3 and Gen 4 points. And therefore it has access to the uterus. And as we know, a liver stores blood and it dispenses blood to the uterus so that uh, liver blood can become menstrual blood. Also, liver uh, regulates qi and along with the lung qi, liver qi uh, warrants smooth flow of menstrual blood and timely menstrual cycles. And therefore, we can apply liver aid to treat amenorrhea or irregular menstruations and we can also use liver 8 for abdominal masses. So those of you who have clinical experience treating abdominal masses know that when your patient comes with an abdominal mass of a size of grapefruit, please don't tell them that you can break up their masses with acupuncture because it's a waste of time. The best course of action for such patients would be to have regular acupuncture treatments for let's say two or three months to prepare them for the surgery because definitely you can invigorate blood and improve their vitality recovery rate from the surgery then they would come back to you and you would uh, treat them to help them recover from from the surgery and then they can uh, get pregnant uh, but when we deal with small abdominal masses then it's very possible to help to shrink those masses with acupuncture. We also can use liver A to treat a problem that I personally don't see very often in our American practice, which is prolapse of the uterus. However, there are many classical point combinations that treat prolapse of the uterus, especially prolapse of the uterus due to damp heat. For example, we can use liver 8, kidney 5, kidney 6, and bladder 62 for prolapse of the uterus. Another combination is liver 8, kidney 6, and liver 1. That's probably more for the liver channel, and the first one more for the constitutional type of prolapse. And then we can use liver 8, liver 3, kidney 6, and heart 8 again. This would be a more of a situation damp heat or some sort of uh, heat and fire because we have uh, a fire point on the uh, heart channel which also belongs to the fire and finally we can use a combination of do 20 the most yang point right on the body with ren 6 spleen 6 kidney 6 and liver 1 and therefore we have kidney 6 is a very important point for prolapse uterus and liver 1 is a point that uh, is recurring in different uh, formulations for prolapse of the uterus. Classical literature speaks a lot about the ability of He C points to treat counterflow of Qi. And uh, liver 8 is not an exception in this regard. And in particular, 
it's a great point to treat counterflow of liver yang. So this point is very handy to treat a headache. We already spoke about um, the basic combination to treat any headache, which is Seman, uh, the four gates, large intestine four and liver three. And we spoke about the appropriate depth of insertion of these points because uh, in combination, these points actually enter all the channels that go to, into the hand and they re regulate whey and yin, uh, nutritive and protective energies. So that's a very handy combination. But however, when we deal with liver yang, there is a combination of points that is very good for uh, treating headaches. And that would be liver 8, bladder 60, bladder 58, a small intestine 1, small intestine 2, and heart 5, the low point on the heart channel. And so we spoke primarily about the ability of uh, liver 8 point to treat excesses and in particular damp heat and liver fire. However, because liver 8 is a water point, it's a mother point on the liver wood channel and therefore it can treat deficiency conditions as well. In particular, it's a great point to address neurasthenia and it also treats dizziness. Finally, liver 8 is a very handy point to treat various musculoskeletal problems and this is due to the fact that liver 8 has a very strategic anatomical location which allows for multiple holographic uh, influences. So regarding the holographic correspondence, for instance, we can use uh, points on the knee to treat headaches. We can also use uh, these points to treat shoulder pain, elbow pain, or even wrist pain. We can use a knee point to treat a knee pain on the opposite side. In other words, if we have pain in the right knee, we can use points on the left knee. And in fact, liver 8, I believe, is um, in some classical prescriptions for knee pain. However, I already discussed my uh, treatment protocol uh, regarding knee pain when I spoke about a liver 3 acupuncture point. But we can also treat problems in the abdomen using this, this method of holographic correspondence because the knee joint corresponds with the abdominal and diaphragm because it's kind of between jowls, right? It represents um, the area between two jowls. And so you probably know a famous combination from the balance methods called magic eight where we use liver eight spleen 9 on one side and then we use stomach 36 gallbladder 34 on the opposite side and then we use pericardium 6 and lung 7 on one side and uh, sanjiao 5 and large intestine 4 on the opposite side to treat any abdominal complaint and in fact it's a, an incredibly powerful protocol uh, that treats not only pain but um, also various dysfunctions in the abdominal area. In particular, a few years ago I had a case when uh, a patient had vagus nerve damage due to hiatal hernia and so he had flaccidity of the stomach muscles and so anytime he would eat food it would just sit there in the stomach uh, forever until it would just uh, rot and he would throw it up. And so we used a magic eight combination on this patient five days a week for one month and his uh, motility of the stomach returned to at least 80 percent so a very powerful combination indeed and well this is all i have on liver eight i hope uh, you found this information helpful if you have any questions or comment don't hesitate to write them in the comment section i've been your host andre yershov and i will see you next time